All right, looking nice so far. Okay, wait, that's horrible. Bruh. First of all, the goal of this challenge is to make myself suffer as much as possible. I'm gonna draw on my finger on my Android phone. So first off, I do not draw on phones ever. I mean, to be fair, I do have a phone tutorial, but let's be honest here, it sucks. I should delete it. So I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen in this video. I'm gonna draw on my computer, and then when I finish the drawing, I will try to draw it on my phone. Phone. So just keep watching, okay? Or else. Okay, so I don't have live footage of me reacting to my drawing. So this is just gonna be a very accurate reenactment of my drawing process. We're just gonna sketch it out. The perfect formula to draw a hot guy is to give him a suit, make him have those seductive siren eyes, and a lollipop because we are a PG-13 channel. Also a scar on his eyebrow because it's smegsy. Next, we're gonna fill all the lines like coloring books. Pretty freaking easy since we got a tool for that. Technology. And then we're gonna use an airbrush, give him a little blush cause he kawaii, and then add in the shadows, which is easy because I use a custom brush. Oh, and when his skull looks weird, I just use the liquify tool. And after that, I play with the colors. That's right, I'm just adding violet hues there out of nowhere. I don't know if that's right, but no color theory here, just vibes. Okay, now, that hair. <sighs> I hated it, so I basically just replaced the whole hair. I'm obviously using a reference, okay? I'm just copying off the reference. And then I whipped out these 3D pair of glasses because I'm a work smart, not hard artist. Then I made the lips juicy and basically refined the whole thing. But it was lacking something, so I just added like a hand to make it less stiff. I can't wait to draw a hand when I'm on my phone. I just realized I draw too many hot guys just staring hotly at my face. I have absolutely no idea what pose I'm gonna draw, but I just don't want him to sit there and look pretty like a sugar baby. So I'm just gonna gather some references and stitch them all together like Frankenstein, but hot, okay? Okay, so before he was just a hot sugar baby staring hotly at you, but now he's a hot process executor with glasses staring hotly at you with hands. And again, work smart people, I just copy pasted the fingers. Big brain. Okay, so here is the final result. Nice. So that's it for our drawing process on the computer. Now to move on to, oh wait, would you look at the time? It is time for our date. Unfortunately, I'm broke, so I can't take you out to dinner. But luckily, Boksu sent me this box containing premium and authentic Japanese snacks. Right off the bat, it already smells so good. Shall we look through the menu together? I first try the Kanagawa Sakura Jelly. There's even a flower inside, very aesthetic. I wanted to try it out because it looks like a bottle of perfume, okay? But it's not. It's jelly. A very pretty and very bouncy jelly, and it's so good. I was gonna eat it like after I filmed the video, but I ended up finishing it on the spot. And then we got Sakura Chinsuko, which looks like cherry blossoms. So I had a bite of it. It tastes so nice. You want some? Oh, <laughs> there's something on your mouth. And then I tried this, which looks so jiggly and is so squishy. This mochi is so chewy, it's so good. Like how we can get to know each other through this date. Boksu lets you experience the culture of Japan through their snacks and deliver them all the way from Japan right to your doorstep. It was exciting to look forward to this month's theme, which is the Sakura season. This box is a limited edition for this March only. There is a different theme every month, so use my code COOLIN10 to get 10% off your authentic Japanese snack subscription from Boksu. Don't miss out on this amazing snack journey through Japan.
Thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring this video. All right, now for the phone process. Now, if you were to ask me, I would never, ever draw on my phone, ever. But to be real with you guys, there are three reasons why people draw on phones. One, they are broke. Two, they want to flex. And three, they're broke and want to flex. So there really are people who do draw on phones. So without further ado, here is again a reenactment of my drawing process. Okay, so I'm just gonna doodle it real quick. All right, looking nice so far. Okay, wait, that's horrible. Okay, time to add a bunch of lines for the hair. I'm definitely gonna regret this later when I'm coloring, but that's okay. Just make those pretty little lines. All right, just gonna make the little smegsy scar on his eyebrow. So far, I am struggling, but we'll get through this. Just gonna resize the head a little bit. Okay, I just spent a lot of time drawing these lines. Now I'm gonna erase them because I'm stupid. Okay, so after erasing it, I redrew the lines again. By the way, I just want to say the pen fade option is an absolute chad, okay? It literally cured my depression. I literally do not know why it's off on default. You should go try it out. Anyway, hands. Let me show y'all my expertise. Just throwing a couple of these lines, these Japanese character looking lines, and then make more lines. And then boom, it, it still kind of sucks, but you'll see when we paint it later on. Okay, so we're now going to color it. I do not trust the paint bucket tool, so I'm just gonna use the lasso tool right here. I'm basically just selecting the whole skin part, and it's literally so satisfying when I'm using the color bucket. Just a little poof, and bam, you colored the skin. For the shading, obviously we're gonna start with the blush. I literally have no idea what tool I just used a while ago, so I'm just using whichever works. And obviously, we're gonna make the lips juicy. So it has been 55 minutes, my finger is tired, and also at this point, I'm like holding my phone really close to my eyes. I'm pretty sure I got astigmatism or something, so I worked on it the next day. Okay, so let's try this flat pen for the hair. Hmm, surprisingly good. Okay, now to remove all the black lines on the hair. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. You know what guys, I probably spent like 20% of my whole time trying to eye drop the right color. Because like, when you're using the phone, you have to press and hold for the eye drop tool. And the problem is that my big ass thumb is on the way, so that's pretty hard. Okay, slowly but surely rendering the eye and putting the details. Whatever the heck this brush is, it's saving my butt at the moment. I really had to draw hands on the original piece, huh? I just really had to make myself suffer. Okay, so after doing all of that refining and stuff, I just finished it off with the add layer and just sprinkled on some light in there. That light is really the cherry on top, okay? That rim light. Even though I don't really know if the lighting is correct, we don't know if the lighting is correct. We're just vibing, okay? Also, like, I drew a frame for the glasses, so how I did it was that I just used this rectangle shape thing and basically transformed it to fit the eyes. Does it look good? No, but, but it's kind of passable, don't you think? Okay, so this is the finished result. After drawing this, I kind of realized that I forgot to add some details, like the lighting here and also the white inside the glasses. But honestly, I was just too demotivated to draw it. Yeah, that's right. I didn't want to finish it because I was lazy. Sue me. Now, I posted the comparison on Instagram. Go follow me there if you haven't. I asked if you guys knew which one was drawn on the phone and which well, 74% voted the right choice, as they should. I mean, I don't blame you guys. The phone version is like if someone tried to draw my original drawing from memory. But anyway, the final verdict. Phone bad or phone good. Okay, so I originally hated the idea of drawing on a phone. But, well, now that I've tried it, it's really not that bad. I mean, I'm like holding my phone literally so close to my eyes. But like... That's kind of it 
man. A lot of things are the same. In the end, I also found brushes that are similar to my brushes in Clip Studio, but in the end, it's your skills that matter. So if you're just drawing for fun or something, drawing your little furry fan art, it's okay. However, if you want to be a pro like me, a pro as in professional cloud chaser, I really would not recommend using phones at all, man. Use a computer, an iPad, anything, just not a phone. It's really more efficient in the long run. And when you go down that cloud chasing path, if you want to end up just like me, it's going to pay off in the end, man. You're going to have a lot of clout and you're going to get a lot of free stuff like Boxu. Boxu, thank you again for sponsoring this video. So watch this video next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.